Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs. B and welcome to another day in the life video with me and my beautiful family. First up, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's not make it like an elephant in the room. Let's just be upfront and honest. Look at that thing. It looks much worse on camera than it does in real life. I'm not gonna lie. I get hormonal spots on my chin at certain times of the month. Runs in line with my cycle. Sorry if you're a dude. And yeah, that's it's just what it is. I don't wear makeup. I don't cover stuff up. So we keep it real around here. I mean, not that if you wear makeup, you don't keep it real, but you know, reality, it's really here. And this is just discoloration on my chin. This isn't spots, so yay me. Just out the shower and not drying my hair. So I just put it in pleats. So you get me looking like Pippi Longstocking today. <laughs> because why use heat on your hair? I'm not going anywhere. We are still on a full lockdown here in Scotland. Like, full. Like, we're not like England. We can't go on picnics and all that jazz. We are still in full lockdown. But, anyway, today you guys get to come with us and enjoy a fun-filled groundhog day in our life. Um, the kids are hopefully doing their morning chores. The kids have chores they need to do every morning. Morning chores. Monday to Friday. I think it's important to teach kids responsibility. I think it's also important to teach them life skills. And it's also important that they realize that mum doesn't do everything for them because otherwise when they move out, they're not gonna know how to do anything. <laughs> and they're gonna be that annoying person, be it like they're on a mission at 18, they're living in halls, whatever it is, they've got a wife, they've got a husband, whatever it is, not necessarily 18, but they're gonna be an adult and they're not gonna know how to do anything. And we've all met that person. I was that person <laughs> when I moved out of my house when I was 19 with Baby Sky and Thomas. Neither me nor Thomas knew how to cook or clean or run a home. Nobody taught us anything. So yeah, <laughs> Thomas only cut a broccoli. I think in the last year he only learned how to cut a broccoli. Like he'd never cut a broccoli before. I know, that sounds insane. But anyway guys, get to come with us. Let's see what these boys are doing. Hello? Get detention because I'm a new person. What are your boys doing? You get detention. You get detention? What did you do wrong? He spoke in class. He spoke in class? Who's the teacher? That truck. That truck is the teacher. Who threw that? Me. Oh, Bim Buchanan. I threw it at the teacher. <laughs> I threw it at him two times. What does your letter say? Oh, you mean like I'll keep on putting it in the airplane and throwing it to you? Oh, you're writing notes on an airplane. A paper airplane. Okay, did you do your morning chore, Oven? Yes. Yes, or Gail? Did you do your morning chore? It definitely needs to tidy it up in here. It's looking a bit messy. Um, did you do your morning chore yet? Wee. Did you do your morning chore, or Gail? <laughs> I'm going to take that silence as a yes. Open sitting down to second breakfast as a homeschooler, home homeschooler. educator. Yep, that's what I was going to say, Sky. We are unofficially hobbits. If you have kids that are at home full time, you will know what I mean. They just eat all their time. And a lot of people will be experiencing this right now with their kids off of school who normally attend school, but they just eat and eat and eat. This boy must be growing. And are we the only people whose kids eat spoons with? the spoons that are not whose kids eat spoons no whose kids eat yogurts with spoons that aren't your typical spoon that's a measuring spoon that boy's using is it more fun to eat with a measuring spoon yes yes is it okay but i've seen them eat with um measuring spoons medicine spoons a whole cups when we're not cooking. <laughs> yeah who knows sky but sky's sitting down to do her school work she's doing some handwriting at the moment she yeah, is writing better. in cursive so this writing style sky, they write slightly on a slant, so you might find you can do it better and more easily if you write slightly on a slant. Yeah, that's quite an American thing, whereas British people, when they write in cursive, don't tend to write on a slant, but this this uh, handwriting does oh, yeah, teach that's you. Hard to write in a slant. Is it harder? Oh, okay. Well, you just do whatever works for you. So hard. But this is what Sky does for school, um, or school. If you don't know, my kids are home educated. Um, so this is from The Good and the Beautiful. And this was language arts and literature. And- Your creative companion is good. Creative companion is good. So Sky does language arts and literature, which is like 
language arts. I um, the same yogurt into the oven. Oh, fun times, Obi. So that's like reading, writing, punctuation, grammar, spelling, um, all that kind of thing. And then she also, part of this is geography and art. So she does all that. The handwriting is separate. This, you can download these and print them off just like what I do. Um, and it's totally free for levels one to five on their website, which is amazing. And you just print it off and I just like store it like this. And that's, that's it. There's nothing, it's not too difficult. Um, you can buy the actual hard copies. They're not that expensive, but to get them shipped over is quite a lot of money. So I just download and print them at home and it's free, which is amazing. So yeah, this guy's getting on with that. Obi is going to finish his second breakfast and then he's going to start his handwriting. Sometimes we sit at the table for schoolwork and sometimes where do we sit, Oban? On the bed. On oh, mum's bed, it's yeah. It's be sleepy day. <laughs> it just depends, really. Um, but this, I showed you guys this the other day on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then hit me up. But I was just trying to give like a brief overview of kind of the things that we do. So this is Oban's daily lesson. I'm trying I'm to talk. Dog. Make a robot dog shush, you're a naughty dog. Naughty. He's a robot. But yeah, so this is again a thing like we would do in a day. So this is Oban's work. Um, so practice sight word ladders, practice phonics. We don't do phonics because he's known phonics for quite a while now. Um, then you read this bit out loud. We're talking about plural nouns. Ask the child what is the plural of this. And then this says dictate the following words in the sentence. So I would give him some lines paper and I would read him these words in this sentence and he would write it out. Then he's got a little bit of spelling to practice. Okay. Then he would do math. And I'm looking he's, at the words and I am copying them. And he's already done um, handwriting. And then we do science together as a family. So me and Owen are going to work to through this. Then you might get to play electricals. I'm not sure today. We'll w see. But whilst I'm doing this with her gale, Sky is doing her thing by herself. She doesn't need me at all. Oban, no, you're Oban. Whilst I'm doing this with Oban, Sky's doing her own thing. Or Gail, he's just about to jump in a shower, actually. Um, and then this bit is independent practice. So, okay. Oban doesn't really need me for that. So whilst he's doing that, I am going to work in my planner. This is my planner. It's from In the Leafy Treetops, and I love it. And I'm so sad that this year this? has went to pot, and I have really not been able to use my planner for planning things that are not in our home but I'm going to plan our meal plan for the week ignore my foot hello um I do my meal plan in this bit of the book um so I'm going to do my meal plan and then on a separate piece of paper I will write the shopping list and I'll give it to Thomas and he'll go shopping for us but yeah I really do like this planner and it's it really is a shame that this year I've not been able to use it <laughs> but oh well it's very nice I love how it's laid out it's my favorite i also love the whole section they have dedicated to christmas like what i think that's amazing i love it i absolutely love it 7, 30, 8, 30, 30, 10, 30, 11, 30. working on telling the time on the way home we walked by the fish and duck we looked up and saw that and i've done meal plan oh sorry boys meal plan sorted that's what we're gonna have this week Shopping list for Thomas. I'm supposed to be home by now. Oh, great. Oh, she late. Under the writing he saw, he'd drawn what appeared to. So the kids are eating lunch, and whilst they are doing that, my neighbours out, and I look like I'm just a weirdo talking to myself. Um, whilst they're out, no, whilst they're eating their lunch, it's actually quite sunny. I've took a chance to hang a wash out. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to do some gardening. I've got some tomatoes to put up. Oh no. It feels like rain. Oh no. But yeah, let me let me go this way. <laughs> and I'll show you. A lot of stuff has changed in the garden since I last showed you guys. Um, Thomas made this big space for me. Wait, I'll tell you so you can see. So Thomas got some slabs and he laid them down for me so that I've got somewhere to put all my pots. Um, so I have, so, and he also made me these tomato cages. He is a good soul. So I planted up these tomatoes. These ones are Roma tomatoes. 
so I planted them up and these ones need a little cane whereas these ones are going to be money makers and these are going to grow apparently here I don't know <laughs> we shall see if they grow um, but they get really huge and they can't be contained by just this like they grow everywhere so tomato cages are in order and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cane through here when they get bigger but yeah so that's here but I need to plant those up oh I should bring those down oh I'm not that smart <laughs> yeah I'm gonna plant as many of these up as I can I've only got like one and a bit bags of compost hello poppy what you doing <laughs> what you doing these are my potatoes and these are going to come out of this space and in that soil like on the ground not in the pot I'm going to plant my cucumbers up that's some flowers and some herbs a bonsai tree my lettuce this lettuce is amazing by the way absolute amazing <laughs> like so tasty and look how big my blueberries have got and my carrots so yeah I'm gonna try and plant some stuff up because it has been raining and I've not been able to get out these are my candy cane peppers my peppers are so tiny they haven't grown very tall so we'll see what happens oh, Poppy what are you rolling in she likes to roll in poop honestly we have cats like we don't have cats but the neighbours have cats and they come in here and they poop and I don't always spot it um, but she rolls in it what are you doing there's no poop on you thank goodness we have been out for like an hour and it's still not rained which I'm very surprised about I feel like it's going to rain any minute but we've got everything planted up that we needed to get planted Y'all are crazy. Some poo on your eye. Some poo on your eye. Some poo on your eye. Oh man. Well, Thomas, yes. right? He loves birds. And he filled these birth, this bird feeder up with new bird balls. Oh my gosh, guys. The birds come for them like they just go insane for these bird balls. Only these bird balls. And when it's in, there's literally like 12 birds on that thing trying to eat. But anyway, because of that, there's been a lot more bird poops than usual, so the kids are not... That looked very dangerous, Sky, don't do that again, please. There's been bird poops on the trampoline, which the kids are not happy about. But anyway, planted up one, two, three, four, five of the moneymaker tomatoes. And then I planted up these, these, and these. These are, um, I don't know, what are you? Hot lemon. That one's hot lemon peppers. And these ones and these ones are jalapenos. They do have a little thing in there. To tell you. But I'm excited to see what grows, like what happens. That's my broccoli. Some of my tomatoes already have fruits on them. How exciting is that? Sky just finished some art. She did a watercolour of some lemons. Can you tell? It'll look better once it's dried, it won't be so bumpy. Oh, that's my feet. That's not very good, is it? That's not really what you want to see. I'm not having a good day the take. <laughs> it's, honestly, oh, that's so good. That is so good. She's very proud of it. Very proud. I love that this is what they brought in to use. Oh, man. This place just... I feel like I'm just constantly tidying and cleaning. Anybody else? Or just me? Well done, Sky. It's very good. It's so very good. good. I think it's the best one I've ever done. It's very good. I love it. And I want to get better and better. I love it. You should be proud. Mm -hmm. Thomas is home and I can hear him cooking something. He said he's cooking dinner. Oh, he's making toasties. He's making toasties, baby cakes. Yes, Thomas is, um, what would we say? Culinary, culinarily, culinarily challenged. Is that what we would say? Challenged he's, indeed. He's uh, not the best at cooking, I'll be honest with you guys, he's not the best at cooking, but he makes a mean, mean toasty and he also makes, what else do you make good? Toast and cheese. Toast and cheese. Um, um, it's not good for you. Toast and beans. Uh, toast and beans. <laughs> um, toast and beans. Mm -hmm. You guys get the drift here, anything with bread, beans and cheese, he's really good at it. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm not going to moan though, a toasty is better than me having to cook. So, so, do a new one right enough. So, oh, a George Foreman? Yes, yeah, so yeah. I think I'm going to be absolutely fantastic. A four piece one would be good. Well, is that a hint for me to <laughs> look at something? <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one, whenever that may be, because, you know, I'll be lazy. But I'll see you then, guys. Bye!